It is the most versatile aircraft that's ever been manufactured. If you think this is like the point A to point B mode of transportation aircraft, you couldn't be more wrong. You know, whatever variant or shape it might be in for the mission in question, when others fly out, we fly in. It's been around now for 60 years. The whole world recognizes this aircraft like no other. It's just the go anywhere, do anything, and get you back again aircraft. We can get it to narrow, desolate, austere locations that no other aircraft can do with the payload that it can carry. No other aircraft in the world can do what it can do. And it had a distinct growl when the engines were put into reverse, uh, when the aircraft would slow itself down on the runway. And that growl was exceptionally fierce. It's something that most people who've been in the armed services will recognize because at some point in their career, they've probably been on a C-130, either taking them to or from a deployed location. And uh, that view, that iconic view out the ramp and door, uh, it belongs to a lot of service people. This plane does so much more, it's so dynamic. Our missions include passenger movement, cargo movement, air medical evacuation, airdrop to include heavy equipment, CDS, food, water, supplies, personnel, paratroopers, uh, and to include halo, high altitude, low opening. So it's got a plethora of missions. I would say take a look at history and find somebody that doesn't know this aircraft. Find somebody who hasn't been touched by this aircraft. Whether it's people who've been starving in Africa, who've been fed by humanitarian relief that this aircraft has delivered, or whether it's one of our brothers in service who have been resupplied at, a, at an isolated fog through airdrop. Go all the way back to Quezon. It was under siege in 69 during the Tet Offensive. How was it resupplied? C-130s. We go anywhere, we do anything, and we do it better than anybody else. The proof's in the pudding. This airplane gets the job done.